Welcome back to Gator Snapper Playthrough of Tales of Arise, where I haven't recorded anything for this game in, like, hold on. It's been at least four weeks, because I went through the four episodes I had in back stock. I'm now completely out of anything, and I'm just going f fucking raw from this point on. So let's see, yeah, at least four weeks, I took, like... Oh god, like a month and a half up. I haven't played this game in fucking ages. Holy shit. The longest fucking span of time that I've taken to play a game. Jeez, okay. But yeah, now we're back. We're uh, here in Elda Menencia. Uh, I remember talking to a bunch of people last we left off, and I guess right now I'm just going to... Oh, you know what? I think I know exactly where to go. I think... I need to head towards the mines, and that's... Yeah, yeah, I think I head towards the mines. Oh, and the owl. You know, fucking owl, you sense something. It's like, this is such a busy fucking... Bo oh, wait, wait. Never mind. Sorry, owl. I'm sorry that I yelled at you all this time. Uh, oh, 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 it sounds so close. Where is it? Is it, like, hidden over here? Oh, no, no, it's gone now. Jesus. Hoodle, if you could give, like, more useful advice about where these fucking owls were. Oh, it's so near. Maybe it's on the tent. Only at one angle, though? Oh my god, I'm gonna spend more time this episode looking for this fucking owl. There he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to interrupt the child's dialogue, but yeah, no, that is... Okay, so I am right. I do need to head towards the quarry. Perfect. Where is the quarry? That looks like a quarry, right? I mean, you can tell just by the big pathway. Yeah, no, because that's a pallet. Oh, shit. I don't know. That might be how you get to the next fucking zone. The zone that I've never been in before. The wind domain? I've, I, I don't know. I've only, the Elderman and Sea is where I stopped. I didn't get any further. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's hear about the Earth Lord. What do you, oh god, it's been so long. Well, how long do I have to sit through you guys' dialogues? Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Not helpful law. Who's next? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That is the most useless information. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, he's a lord, so he's probably got a fucking. What are those things called again? It's been so long. A core? Just a core? No, a master core. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I guess it's magic. Who gives a shit? I was about to be like, uh, just because you can control earth and maybe at best the nutrients in the earth doesn't mean you can control plants. Oh my god. That was the shortest dialogue I think I've ever gone into before. Damn. I'm just waiting for the day where there's a skit where it's just like, Hey guys, how's it going? Eh. And it's like, cool. Glad to get your opinion. And that's it. The fucking dialogue ends right there. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, Shion. Also, this P... Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not looking too good. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that guy's fucking gruff-ass voice. So, I, I appreciate it. So, I guess, like... Okay, so I get that Dohalim is, like, the lord of this land. But that... I, I like... I don't know. Maybe it's to the Renans here, like, credit. The ones that live here. But, like, that a bunch of them just aren't still racist really catches me off guard just because like it had been ingrained in their culture for so long in this series or this series in this game but i don't know i mean it is nice it is very nice to see that they're like oh yeah hey you you take the day off i'm not like the other renans <laughs> i'm not like all the other renans i like to sing dance read poetry walk on the beach whatever generic things I also like how they're just so traumatized by their lifestyle that they're like, this this just isn't right. How can it be like this? Ew. So weird. I want... <laughs> fucking Ren was just like, I want them to step on my neck like they used to. Now all these fucking Ren and guards are fucking pussies. They're soy boys. Oh, and here's the big scary door. No one's allowed in there. Oh, here's like the hottest fucking character in this entire game. Yes. I could put her in a one of the fucking stupid costumes that really i mean it i don't know the costumes like they're made to be sexy but it actually looks it looks worse yeah that's the idea does really no dan and has a last name all right yeah no the uh, the fucking other outfits just are so disappointing to, well they're not really disappointing i don't know they just I, every time I use a costume in this game, I feel like it ruins uh, the appeal. Like more for like a first-time playthrough kind of thing. 
Uh huh. Yeah, we're trying to fucking forget it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, fuck you, Rinwell. Ah, Kisara's so cool. Although, there is one thing I will actually wind up changing with her outfit, and it's just her hair. I, I like it better up in a ponytail. I mean, it is, you know, what the fuck? I'm t about to say some stupid shit like I know better, uh, and I really don't. But my whole thing is, like, having, like, long hair like that just loose, it just seems like a bad idea. I, what if it gets cut in the armor and you pull your hair and you say, ow? No, the, re the reason I'm thinking of is it even stupider and cringier, because it makes me sound like, like I said, like I know my shit, which I really don't. But longer hair, would seem, it's like easier to grab. So it's, I mean, a ponytail wouldn't be much better. God damn, that is a really, like... I mean, it's not like a revealing outfit, but god damn, is that a hot outfit? No, no, uh, you know what, no, I won't spoil it. Although I guess I already did by saying no. Uh, but yeah, her armor is cool, and then the fucking outfit she's wearing underneath is very revealing. I guess, yeah, like, it goes all the way to the fucking butt. And it's tight around the butt, too, Jesus. They're like, the developers of this game are just like, yeah, we're gonna make strong female characters. But we're still gonna make them hot, wearing fucking hot clothes. I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, if it's a trap, yeah, we're just gonna fucking blow everybody up. Although I guess Doe Liam's probably like one of the best people to go up against us. I get you are just what was your damage, Law? Uh, uh she makes money. She has a good position and respect. Jeez. Thanks for that input, Shion. People are so happy to hear that. Mm. I, I like that they are so fucked up about everything. Yeah, okay, Law's starting. Law's like a little better, I guess. Uh huh. They're like, I mean, it makes sense that they would feel this way. Because, like, they, they've they lived their whole life, and they've seen, like, the Renans be such terrible people. But also, it's like, they really are, like, being treated better here. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the other thing. It could be fucking, um... Oh, what is it? Like a Stockholm Syndrome. Like, a societal Stockholm Syndrome. That's fucking scary. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go talk to that that soy boy. I don't like that Dohalim guy. He seems like he's gonna give me a run for my money as the the party's dad character. Hmm. What the fuck? They sensed enemies in the. Oh, God damn, that's spooky. Okay, I guess I had something I could have been worrying about. What do you not get? Uh, what's it? Rinwell? Geez, sorry, I forgot. I mean, it was probably hard for the first year or two. God, seven years seems like such a long time where it's like they'd have their freedom, but then once that seven years is up, it's like, oh, now we've got, like, the rest of our lifetime to deal with the bullshit. Because, yes, yeah, Dolahim's only going to be here for, like, the seven-year period. Uh, nobody's. Nobody's but my own. Hmm. Thank you, Law. You were, like, kind of shitty about this situation for a bit, now you're better. That's, that's nice. Ah, fuck off, Rinwell. Rinwell is, like... It, it's sad because it reminds me of people that I knew in, like, high school and college, where it's, like, they're the... the I guess, like, the nice kids, but then they'll have some, like, really weird belief where it's, like, ugh, I can't believe that... Uh, it basically just boils down to racism. And it's, like, dude, Jesus, you're such a nice person. Why do you why do you say this, like, really fucked up shit? And they're just, like... It's, I, it really just turns into a thing of, like, that's how they were raised. Still fucked, though. Uh, hey, Kisara, sorry, I was ruining this fine day with talks about... Oh, oh I thought she had, like, a tail of her. It's like, god damn, she's so cool, so cool. That's actually just another thing that somebody could just grab and, like, fucking fling her around with. Just imagine, like, a Zoogle grabs her by that fucking long-ass belt. It's like, <laughs> slams her, like, th uh, Loki. Oh, I guess we don't have lines here. You again, after we parted ways an urgent petition from the citizenry came up 
Lord Dolim is currently busy responding to it. As such, I must ask you to wait until he finishes his business. Our, once preparations are complete, I'll lead the way. Cool. Wait, did she tell me I could have just gone to the fucking inn? Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess. I mean, I guess it's setting up the idea that, like, oh yeah, Dolim is nice and talks to the citizens, but that felt so unnecessary. I um, uh, yeah, honestly, fair, fair, um, fucking paranoia, I guess. Ah, there he is with his fancy shoes. We're gonna have to get this boy some sunglasses. <laughs> I like his outfit, though. It's super cool. Uh -huh. He is also such a spoiled brat, though. <laughs> Ah. I would not I would not call that humble. That's like ready for war. <laughs> mm. Ah. Nice to meet you. Please forgive my companion who's going to try and shoot you in the face. Uh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Um. No. <laughs> Quick, she gonna take the shot. Yes, fight, fight, fight. Honestly, I'm surprised Dolim. Oh, maybe he really needs it. But I was gonna say I'm surprised Dolim doesn't just try to like give them the master core and say like, yeah, just leave me to my shit. Although I don't know, like, it's one of those things where I wonder why the uh, Renans never sent anybody here to like try and deal with. Oh wait, no. I guess it makes sense because like. They probably see Dohalim as like a dropout, so it's like one less competitor. Yeah. Uh. It would have. Oh, I don't know. I I was gonna say it would be nice if like he. Oh, but there she goes taking the shot. If oh, damn. Well, at least he knows his shit. Fucking just slams her in the face with the fucking pull over oh, the throat, Jesus. But yeah. um... If, like, the fuck... Why can't Astral Energy be harnessed by, like, happiness? <laughs> be some bullshit. Oh. Oh. Damn. It's okay. I don't feel pain. Hit me as much as you want, Alfin. Oh, god damn, Dohalim. Ah. That was, like, really fucking this nice. Uh -huh. Fuck Kelsalek. Mwah. <laughs> You can trust me, I'm the Vizier, the most trustworthy character in all movies. I don't think I've seen a single movie. Okay, that's like an odd, ominous shot just lingering on her. Dude, he was in full armor. I guess, I don't know, Dolim's strong, whatever. Still. Um. <laughs> Seriously, Shion. I mean, I just didn't want to see you get punched in the throat. Jesus, is that so much to ask? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I can't believe he's worried for me. What a fucking asshole. Forget this is still the part where Shion is like a total fucking t bitch. Oh, wait, no, she's getting better. What? What? Worried? What does that mean? Also, why did we linger on Rinwell there? Oh, is this the assa oh, loose cannon? I was like, I would have liked if it was called like would be assassin. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, and I have some points, too. What is Lunar Corruption? That sounds cool. Slides, fires into the ground. Oh, if it launches enemies in the air, that's nice. Or an easier overlimit. That's pretty good, too. Yeah, I'd like her to use her fucking uh, mystic art. Do my NPC, or I guess AI-controlled characters, do uh, their own fucking mystic arts, or do I have to be the one to make them do it? I don't know. Man, I'm so excited that we're about to have the whole party together. Like, ah... Uh, it's 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 my it's one of my most like I guess satisfying feelings in an RPG whenever uh, everybody is all together like the entire group. It always makes me sad in RPGs where one party member like leaves for one reason or another. Like uh, Vesperia with uh, Raven, like he'll fucking disappear every once in a while. It's like, oh Raven, I like you. No, stick around, dude. What other RPGs are there where, like, one of the party members just constantly leaves? I know in, um, Destiny, I think Tales of Destiny is the second one, if I'm remembering the names right. Uh, there's one party member that fucking just leaves because she has no memories, but then she finds out her husband was murdered or something. You can get her back in the party. Tales of Destiny is a weird one with its party. I think it has, like, the largest roster of people you can bring into your party. 
maybe I'm wrong about that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. You can get the most people uh, in your party in that game. But yeah, uh, it's one of those things where you have to actually, like, you have to know how to get them in your party. Like, there was, like, four people that I had no idea, like, I could even get in my party. Like, it was fucking Gladiator, dude, that goes, like, Sundari over the main character. Uh-huh. I hate his smug-ass expression. He looks like the cat that, you, that has, like... It's the meme with the cat that has all the knives around its neck. <laughs> oh, shit. We're in a good cut. Oh! It's weird that we're having, like, a flashback of his here all of a sudden. Because usually the cutscenes in this game are, like... I don't know what the term is called, but, like, they're all fixated on, like, everybody's present. Like, f Unless they're having, like, a dream sequence. This is, like, in the middle of, like, a fucking dinner. I guess, it, like, it's for contacts. It's to let you know. But, like, usually in this game, it feels like all the cutscenes are very much set in the present. Unless somebody's like, sleeping. Unless we get to the fucking dinner table and Dolim's just, like, fucking asleep. Alfin's like, uh, uh, Do Dolim. Dolim. Wake up. Dolim. He's like, whoa, whoa. Just sorry, I was having the nightmare again. Uh no, don't do an anime power-up. That's how you lose. Jeez. God, Dolim might just be too good. He would have been a good lord. Oh. <laughs> good job, Dolim. He's, like, not even trying, either. I brought this big stick, so I, I thought I wouldn't have to kill you, but... <laughs> oh, no. Just, uh, fucking snap his neck. Yeah, that... Jeez, there you go. Yeah. It's like in D&D, &D when it's like, Yeah, I want to use a quarter staff because I want to do non-lethal damage. And then you forget to uh, say that you're doing non-lethal, and you fucking break someone's neck. Uh, hey, sorry I killed, like, your- Oh, is one of his legs twisted all the way around? Fuck. Jesus, Dolim. What? Are you- Oh my god. I can't believe Dolim feels guilty about this. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is the whole- What was she expecting? Like, oh yeah, sorry, I'll let your- brother or boyfriend or husband kill me that'll make me feel better yeah it's like fucking stupid it's like what are you supposed to do you, yeah just like let him kill him uh dolim that's stupid oh sorry guys i was having the flashback in the middle of dinner oh, okay so that's that's ex that's why uh-huh hell yeah i think one of the things, because, well, I mean, we'll figure out what's going on with Dolim here in, like, an episode or two, but his whole thing that's going on is he's very, like, I don't know, it, I think his position can be seen as, like, being spoiled, but also it's like, I mean, he's got, I think he has good reason. Oh, but that's right, yeah, no, the, the only reason that he's not being racist is kind of a shitty one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you like them? They seemed kind of like assholes. <laughs> hmm. Ha. Yeah, fuck you, Shion. <laughs> I do- don't talk to me. Just enjoy your dinner- oh, I guess she already- oh, that's actually a nice little attention to detail. They actually had her, like, completely clean her plate. She, like, fucking uh, drinks the gravy from it. <laughs> mm, delicious. Mm -hmm. No, we want to stay here and enjoy things. Can we at least have your Master Core? Maybe that's the thing, too, where it's like, he can't be a lord here without the Master Core. I don't know. You and your pencil-thin mustache and generic NPC face, I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. But this is, like, the nicest place. Honestly, Shion, if you hadn't tried to shoot Dolim, we could have fucking rid- uh, rid? Road? We could have stayed here longer. I don't know why I was trying to say ride it out. <sighs> Damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. When I first popped up here in this map, I was like, Oh, I should explore every room for treasure, and that was the biggest waste of fucking time I ever did. I mean, it's nice- I don't- no, it's not really nice. I mean, it's just a bunch of rooms with, like, items that don't matter. I've already harped on that point a million times. I don't need to say it anymore. That is such a good nickname. Why does this game not have titles? Or does it? I don't think it does. No. Pretty sure it doesn't. Tales of Vesperia had titles, I think. 
So did Tales of Symphonia? I don't know. Games, uh, these Tales of Games had titles, I know that for certain. At one point. Uh huh. Oh, uh, hell yeah. You're like really cool. Alfin, you're. I want to grow up to be like you. I'm gonna take your sword in your sleep and kill you with it. Uh. Did, did you mean to say that out loud? Uh, uh, yeah. It was metaphorical. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, that's one thing I'm curious about. Like I said, uh, well, actually I said this like a fucking forever ago, since it's been like over a month and a half since I recorded this series, but, um... There, like, I stopped playing just at the end of this arc here, and there's a whole lot of questions I still am, like, curious about. What, oh, no, wait, I... Ah, fuck, I accidentally went into an office. God damn it. But, yeah, I want to know, like, Alfin's whole deal and what he, uh... What he has going on with that blazing sword. I want to know why he feels weird, like, guilt about it. The Dan and Homeworld, a new terrain... I've read that same line of the same voice every time. Oh, hey, hey, guys. Oh, my God, Renwell. Get over your fucking... What's the term called? Where it's like you've grown up uh, fucking, I, I guess, racist. What is it? Oh. Yeah. Would it? I guess so, since he just had so many people. And it's not like their death being secret is necessary. Oh. I say Dolene probably. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say Dolene probably could fucking just kill everybody by himself, but I don't. There's a whole boss fight. I don't think that's actually the case. Uh huh. <laughs> Alfin's like fucking like really sassy about how everyone here is living good. He's like, huh. he's like a fucking boomer basically. Where he's like, back in my day, we had to crawl through the snow to get to school, and you kids get the days off. That'd be really shitty, but funny. It's like, Alfin, Jesus, just because you had a bad life doesn't mean everyone else has to have a bad life. That's like the same logic as um, people talking about like uh, college debt forgiveness, where it's like, I had to pay all that money for my college debt. Why can't uh, everyone else should too? It's like, no. Fuck off. I don't want to pay my fucking college debt. I want it to just be paid off. It's just like, it was such a, it's a massive amount of money that I owe that has not, like, resulted in anything great. And it's the kind of thing where it's like, well, then you shouldn't have gone to college in the first place. And it's like, fuck off. I wanted to go to college. I just, I wanted something to come out of it. There's a whole, there's like a, there's a lot to unpack with all of that. It's just hard to get into the job market. This is like such a fucking sour subject to talk about here in a fucking let's play about fucking fantasy bullshit. I just wish I could be in the fantasy bullshit unless they were going to continuously talk on this staircase instead of go to sleep. God damn. Uh-huh. The way they stack these skits just really feels off. Like, I it feels out of order almost. I don't know. I wish these more recent tales of games, like, would really calm down with that. Hopefully in the future ones they do, where it's like, they just, I don't know, they do too many skits. I think the idea is like, you can skip them and you can re-listen to them at the camp, but it's like, it's still, I mean, when I see it pop up, I'm like, oh, I guess I'll listen to it now. Then it's like five in a row, it's like, Jesus Christ. He's, uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, you would know. She's like, fuck you, Alfin. With the sunglasses and his past of pogging, he sounds like a fucking streamer. Yo, this place seems legit peaceful, bruh. Fucking law. Okay, does anyone else want to say anything? No? Okay, good. We're going to bed. I do like the... the this city is one of the best uh, fucking looking fantasy cities that I've seen in a game. I mean, both because it looks really nice, but it's also got, like, a good enough populace where it's like, oh yeah... All of these houses here seem like they do belong to people. That's what, like, fucking... It's, it is one of my biggest peeves. Oh, whoops, I passed the end. One of my biggest peeves uh, in a lot of games where it's like, oh, hey, welcome to the city. It's like either too small of a city for it to feel like it should be called a city or it's, it's like too big and there's like five people living in it. 
It's like, Jesus. This one feels like a good balance. And like I said, it looks pretty. It makes me want to live here. Oh. Uh, do we get, like, the first class room with all the good service and food? Um, let me check what Dohalim wrote down here. No. Oh. Huh. Fuck Dohalim. Uh-huh, bed and everything. You don't have to complain about camping like you always do. Jesus, Law. I think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Jesus, Law, what have you been doing? You're, like, stumbling around and everything like you're about to die. Uh. I think somebody put a roofie in my drink. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. The sunglasses make it look like the sunglasses help hide her fucking Renan background. Uh huh. What you mean in the bedroom that you're all staying in? <laughs> okay. Um, no, I'm the party leader. You can't tell me what to do. Fuck you, Runwell. Hey, everybody. No. Uh huh. Good. Yeah, see, that's why you just sleep out of it. Sleep it off. I don't know why I said sleep out of it, but whatever. Hell yeah, they did. They slipped a lot of attitude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, yeah, so, okay. I actually didn't read her line of, her second line, where I, I was like, maybe they're just doing a warning. Uh -huh. I eat owl pellet. No, I forget that owl pellets is an actual fucking disgusting thing. I just think like she's eating bird food. Uh huh. Jeez, Rinwell, paranoid. Was your hair always that black? I thought her hair was like um, fucking brown or something. I don't know. Hmm. Jesus, you're such a paranoid little freak. Oh, now it looks brownish. Yeah, I guess it's just a lighting thing. Cat. Who the f how'd the cat even get in here? <laughs> That's a good question. That's suspicious as fuck. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it's got a gun! It's also got, like, really anime eyes. I worry for that cat's future, knowing humans' weird fucking beliefs. Uh huh? Good question. I don't know. Wherever the cat's going, fuck you, Rinwell. Oh, there it is. Matt, oh, damn, that thing's fucking fast. Get back here, you little shit. <laughs> Everyone's watching just a grown man in plate mail with two swords chasing after a cat. It's like, I'm surprised someone's not just like, hey, fucking leave that cat alone. Stop chasing it down. Law, are you, are you fucking crazy? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Until everybody starts following that cat. Jeez. Also, that's a very, like, lucky guess. Uh huh. You know what? I. Oh, nice. I was about to say that, like, I'm giving that whole idea shit of, like, Law just guessing that and get being right about it, but then it's like, fucking, it's, it's a fucking video game. Who gives a shit? It can be written for convenience sake, however the writer wants, fuck it. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm recently, uh, cause since I re started re-uploading, oh jeez, yeah that's true. Since I started re-uploading videos again, uh, the episode of Yakuza came out where I was like, oh yeah, I like the live action Cowboy Bebop. After the fact where it got cancelled and everyone was really pissy about it, and I was just like, Jesus Christ. I still like it. I think the live action Cowboy Bebop was uh was fun. It's just like, good lord, why I don't know, like everybody I don't know. I, I think like a series getting shut down because of a loud portion of the internet being like, it, 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 it wasn't what we wanted. It's like, I don't know. But then it's also the thing of like, if the major, if the majority of the audience doesn't like it, then yeah, probably not going to fucking get a second season anyways. But I don't know. It felt like one of those things where it just got shut down for like a shit reason. But also there's a whole lot of the workings of that that I don't know about. Like, I haven't read everybody's argument, I haven't read anything about how the people working on the series felt about it, like if they thought it was shit. 
I just, I don't know. I'm easy to please. I enjoy things. I like the live action Cowboy Bebop. Like, fuck. I, it's, it feels like it's just so hard to enjoy things these days. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that I like that everyone else is like, Ugh, it is doggy doo doo with these season. I should be the one whose opinion is right. It's like m me with Genshin. I've got a couple of friends that are just like, that game's shit, how can you play it? Blah, 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 blah. It's like, I, I like it, Jesus. Why do we have to make a whole thing about this? <laughs> Good lord. Uh -huh. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Actually, no, that's true, because like, there's like an actual fucking route that they could take right into the city. Oh no. Uh -huh. I guess? You? Which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. Uh, oh yeah, because there's no guard. I guess, but there's still fucking Zoogles. I don't know. What's going on here? Is she being weird? Oh, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> How been? God damn it. I'm sorry, I slapped your ass by mistake. I guess I don't get punished for touching you like everyone else does, but, uh, <laughs> sorry, it was actually, I didn't mean to touch your ass, huh? <laughs> fucking Alfin. Uh, <laughs> fucking terrible, good lord. I mean, physically you are worse for wear, you just didn't feel it. While she takes his armor off, his hands like, got fourth degree burns. What's the highest level of burn? Okay, Google. <laughs> What's the highest degree of burns? I'm like really curious about that. Oh, it is fourth degree. It's the deepest and most severe. Okay, that may Oh, whoa, it destroys all layers of your skin as well as your bones, muscles, and tendons. Oh, I didn't realize that was a comma. I thought it was a period. Jesus, that's spooky. I was gonna jokingly say after I said fourth degree burns, like they got fifth degree burns. It's like, there's nothing left to burn at that rate. Oh no. I wonder if that's the kind of thing where if like science advanced enough in ways where it's like, they would have to classify something as fifth degree burn, where it's like, Say that, uh, at, like, what's a good example? Uh, at, like, some point in the future, we could clone people, like, that have died based off of, like, some surviving portion of, uh, uh, their fucking, uh, I don't know, DNA. And it's like a fifth degree burn. It's like, yeah, there's not even DNA left. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, this is a stupid concept. Ooh, oh, an earth. Actually, I do need earth seeds for making armors and weapons. That's something, man. So, one of the things that I'm not certain how to, wait. Oh, shit, I just went backwards, my bad. One of the things I'm not certain, or did I? No, yeah, I was going backwards. One of the things, okay, back to what I was trying to say. One of the things I'm not certain about how I feel is, um, with, uh, upgrading your weapons in this game, it feels very linear in its progression. Uh, I guess the closest thing I could come to, like, as a counterpoint example would be, like, Monster Hunter, where it's, like, there's a billion different weapons you can choose from that all have, like, like decent, unique skills sets about them. Sure, there's, like, a meta where there are certain ones that are better than others, but if you like the looks of something, you could build it and, like, play with that. Uh, and, I mean, that's my whole thing where it's, like, I kind of wish this game had more of that going on, where it's, like, oh, yeah, there's, um, you can do, uh, like... S say there's like a fucking uh, set of weapons that you could try to upgrade into that's like they're kind of around the same point but have different abilities and everything like that's kind of what i wish this game had more of with its uh weapons that's kind of I, that's what i'm always talking Ooh, oh hey i got an air move finally but that's one of the things i was talking about before where i think i literally said this episode that i wasn't going to harp on this point anymore but um yeah just like the that that would be a cool fucking thing uh, of getting, like, just more of a variety in your weapons that you could pick. Like I said, this game feels like it's way more linear, and that's kind of like a bummer to me, where it's like, oh yeah, let me check what weapons I can work on upgrading. It's like, I have two options, but one of, like, I don't know. Like, it's just, if, like I said, it just feels linear. I'm trying to remember if, like, in the weapon shop, <laughs> that was a crazy eagle dive. I'm trying to remember if in the weapon shop I had seen, um, ones that are like around the same baseline i mean the only difference then is like one weapon say has like a little bit more attack whereas another one's like a little less attack but it's got like a penetration stat and it's like 
Uh, just give... I don't know. I want more weird fucking abilities or whatever. One of the things Monster Hunter has... The reason why Monster Hunter, I think, is able to, like, have more variety that way is, like... They, ha for one, have all the different elements. Uh, and then they have all the afflictions that the weapons can do as well. That, and they have 14 different fucking weapons to pick from. So I guess that's also a big point. This game has, like, elemental advantages, right? I honestly don't remember. Hold on, where's my targeting? <laughs> Turn on the targeting systems. Let's see. Uh, I guess, like, that one's Earth. That one's, I guess, no element. Uh, so yeah, I guess, like, this game, that's, got, that's one of the things that, like, Tales of has had going on since, like, the very beginning, where it's like, you have elemental advantages. I find it really hard to believe that they would have gotten rid of that. I don't know, this is one of those things where, maybe it's just not the case for the, the strikes, the strike arts, whatever they call them. Because I was just thinking that, like, how using the Lightning Tiger Blade, it's like, hitting down on the D-pad is, like, one of the easiest things to do. Uh, so I don't know, I was wondering if maybe... Hold on, how do I... How do I... How do I Mystic Art again? Oh no, it's been too long. It's like holding buttons, right? Oh no, I guess I guess I don't get a Mystic Art this time. Aww. Um... But yeah, no, like, oh, have I seen that one before? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no, Mystic Art. So it's so easy to hit the down on the D-pad. So I was like, oh yeah, it's uh, but it's only lightning. I was wondering if that was going to be a problem, using only lightning attacks against enemies. But I don't know, it seems like the strikes are more of just like a do massive, like, generic damage. I hate it. Everything here is too green. It disgusts me. How is that anything alike? Both of you shut the fu- I don't know why I even talk with you people. You make me feel bad. I was just commenting on how everything was green and it disgusted me and then you're talking about some bullshit. I love this fucking personality I've given <laughs> basically everybody in the party. So stupid. Ooh, I can't wait to see the strike arts I can do with uh, Dohalim. Cause I've never actually used them before. I've seen Kisara's. Kisaras are, I mean, basically it's just bringing out a big old fucking shield and doing shit with them. But yeah, no, I, I can't wait to see the others. Actually, now that I think about it, one of the complaints I'd had before is like, I n felt like I'd never seen the um, uh, fucking other party members, um, or I, th I thought there was way less um, uh, strike arts than there were, but then it's like, I was only playing as Alfin, so I probably only saw the ones that were using Alfin. No, no, that's not true. Never mind, because I remember seeing, when playing as Alfin, I'd see the others do combo, so never mind, forget all that. Uh, so yeah, no, this, this is the kind of thing I say. Yeah, no, this is all just like, it just progresses in like one fucking, it, it just, they, whatever weapon I get, it just gets like better in all the stats it has. So it's, it, I don't know, it's really bleh to me. I, I want more variety. I like, like this one could have, I guess it, oh, it enhances fire arts. That's actually neat. But yeah, no, that's the kind of thing where it's like, what if they don't want to use fire arts? What if there's other ones that I want to build into? Like, that's the, that's the kind of thing where it's like, yeah, give me variety. Jeez, is that so much to ask for? Like, honestly, is that so much to ask for? Let's get her this cool looking gun. Hell yeah. Uh, I guess I could get her the Bible. What do you want, Law? You want flaming fists? No, no, no. You're get. Oh, you already have the gauntlets. Oh well, fuck off. I guess. Ugh, this place disgusts me. Everything is too lively. I want it to be either burning, empty desert, or cold fucking snow wasteland. Uh huh. Yeah. Also, everything in here is an invasive species, and this is the biggest one. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. It's like the fucking boss from Resident Evil. The big old plant. What is it? That plant has a name. Plant X or something? I don't know. But Jesus. Yeah, no, this is the kind of thing where it's like, thanks, Redens, you really fucked up the environment now. Like, fuck off. Ah! The giant plant, it attacks me. Oh no. I just remembered my whole fucking bit with, uh. What's his face? Alfin and, um. Uh. Zephyr being terrible people. They just go over. They're just in this fight. And they're just like, uh, hey, uh, Shion, you should be careful. That planet, uh, you know, has tentacles and everything. Shion's just like, oh my god, can can you guys just maybe Rinwo, do you want to just be an adventuring party all on our own? And she's just like, yeah, I think that would be actually pretty relaxing and nice. Their laws just like, wait, what about me? I haven't said anything sexist yet. It's like, uh. I guess we'll give you a shot. How do I jump again? 
This is such a weird question to ask. I swear, you do jump in this game, right? Or am I crazy? I'm pretty sure you can jump. Oh, it's B. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. I thought all this time B was an attack button. Okay. Kurt, God damn this game for having like all these weird fucking con uh, buttons that don't match up with other games. Can't A be the jump? I guess I have the ability to change that. I'm just being dumb. Oh, are we just on the main body now? Oh, nice. Fuck you, you giant plant. Shoot its fucking weird, gross-ass core. Oh, did it grow all of its body parts back? Oh, well, that's fun. I guess that means we were wasting our time trying to break them in the first place, so that's great. Oh, well, we're about to kill this fucking thing anyways. Fucking bet, 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 get out of here, giant plant. Somebody finish it off? I guess I'll do it. There we go. Yeah. Hell yeah, we're ending it with a big old fire attack. Perfect. Watch, that thing was like the mother of the forest and the whole place starts to wither and rot. And we're just like, oh, whoops. We, uh, we just killed the environment. Nah. No, just because we ran into a giant evil fucking plant zoogle doesn't mean it's a trap. Oh, and there goes a cat. Fucking asshole cat. Oh, wait, no, but guys, there's a nice campfire here. Oh. What does law sen sent? Oh, okay. I guess we don't get any explanation for that in this episode. Because, yeah, this is all the time I have. So this, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys on the next one. Later, everybody. Shut the fuck up, Xion. <laughs>